may not know these flowers, but probably she was all like, look at that. On camera with you guys, I am trying all of the top rated full body workouts on YouTube. And I know that's kind of a blanket statement. <laughs> that is a lot of workout videos. So I do have some criteria to narrow it down. One, it must be a workout created and performed by a woman. Because as a woman, I trust another woman to help me develop my womanly body. Two, I want this to be 10 minutes in length and that is really just for personal reasons because technically I do have time to do more, but like lazy, you know, so. Um, and three, no equipment because then why don't people just get gym memberships at that point, you know? The whole point of an at-home workout is supposed to be free, you know? <laughs> There's... If you are new to my channel, hello. But just as a heads up, my workout challenge videos are very thorough and honest, but they're very casual and chill. Hopefully I can be of some assistance, and if not, I hope I am just your entertainment. So we can cut to the video, but thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video because it helps me in the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I am supposed to be doing a workout for you. <laughs> For you as a performance and I'm going to I just don't know which one yet I don't know I'm trying to get like the top rated as in like the first page in the YouTube search but I feel like the algorithm is kind of messing with my fancy research because it's just telling me what it thinks I want to see because literally the third video down is the Chloe Ting side booty workout been there done that YouTube keep up if I am going to get the top rated I feel like I need to sign out of my YouTube account and then go from there. I'm sensing the accuracy and I guess I should kind of somewhat screen share. <laughs> Why actually screen? No, I clicked on a video. I don't know if I want to do that one. This is what I get for being lazy and not like really screen sharing and just showing you my screen. But I feel like it's a lot more accurate because everything does look full body. And I'm also getting thumbnails that show shirtless men in them. That, I don't really know. I don't know, I don't wanna do a boy workout. I kinda wanted to do a girl workout. I don't really like, I guess I could do a boy workout. I think I'm gonna do a girl workout because I just don't wanna do a smelly boys workout. I am going to do 10 men good morning workout, stretch and train, no equipment by Pamela Reef. Now I'm going to start, I actually, just ate dinner and it was French toast and ham and I wolfed it down and I literally just came back to, oh, now I feel kind of like sugar rush, kind of full. <laughs> full for a full body workout. This is only 10 minutes, I, I think I'll be okay. be fast here I want to be honest and thorough but we have a lot of reviews to get through for this workout challenge video so overall big picture I loved the visual I loved the music I loved the flow when you transition to the mat you stay on the mat I'm not about the whole burpees type thing like oh like you know if I'm gonna lie down don't have me stand back up so it was perfect I liked it now I'm not wearing a Fitbit to track my heart rate but I'll tell you I was just a little panty just a little sweaty I wasn't exhausted but I think it made it the perfect fit because it's a good morning full body workout because who wants to ruin their entire morning thus ruining their entire day by doing an exhausting headache inducing workout so I felt like it was very appropriate I learned some new moves do you remember like you'll see this across the board if a woman creates a workout for other women even if it's full body it's always going to focus a little bit more on the abs the booties and the legs as a heads up this video is very wrist intensive and most people won't notice or care but if you're somebody that has tiny sensitive underdeveloped weak wrists like me then it's going to be a struggle doing the entire workout don't rule out a workout that is wrist intensive because you need 
to use your wrists, you know, make them stronger, build bone density. So just handle, proceed with caution. So that's like not a negative, that's just a heads up. But my one complaint is that I wish she had a progress tracker up on the screen somewhere because it's just really nice for me mentally to know. I, I, get, I don't know what it is. I think a lot of people are like me though. Something about that when you're on the final stretch, you want to know that you're on the final stretch. I'm back and prepared. So this time around, I'm going to perform for you the full body fat burn hit workout by MadFit. You know, gotta pay homage to my previous workout challenge videos. And this time around, I had a spicy pickle. So we shall see if that affects things. So let me get the performance started in this beautiful setup that I got going for you with my dresser here and my bed cover there. I feel like I used to have the angle perfect, so I don't know if my bed shifted. I don't know. I don't care. This is the quality of a workout challenge video. I'm finally hearing Mad Fit speak. There's like a whole structure to this. I know HIIT workouts are fast and I was gonna plan to like avoid them because <laughs> lazy. I know they're really good for you. It's good to like alternate heart rates and like get that cardio in. You know, you only got 10 minutes. You might as well do it right. But um, this just, I'll just get started. <laughs> boy asked me to go to the gym for a workout date that I don't because oh, not only is it sad how I can't keep up with a 10 minute full body workout but also I feel like I'm awkward and stiff and slow but no I don't just feel that way I am that way I moved over to my messy bed to talk sorry I'm like messing around with the ring light cord but oddly enough I liked how MadFit talked to you throughout everything. She was there to hype you up, to kind of track your progress. Even though there was nothing on screen, I felt like she checked in enough about letting me know where I was at, reminding me to keep up my form. And overall, I just liked the intimate experience. The flow was okay. I knew what a HIIT workout was. So I did know like there'll probably be burpees, a lot of standing and sitting. And I don't have a headache, which is good, which I think is always my fault. I really work hard to stay hydrated and breathe. So I don't know what the other factor would be. If you know, please let me know because I am concentrating on my oxygen levels and I hydrate well with water. I'm gonna take a shower now. <laughs> I know we're like barely into this, but I love this challenge because for the first time, I'm really like, exploring new fitness YouTubers. And I'm gonna be doing my first Emmy Wong workout. This is gonna sound kind of mean, but like I've never heard of Emmy Wong before. Again, it's not meant to be mean. It's like the YouTube algorithm just never recommends me her videos. And I don't really know why, because I look and she has almost 3 million subscribers. I feel like she's very legit. So this is going to be a blast fat in 10 min, full body standing Tabata workout for summer. I like the fact that it's standing. I don't know, I like sitting and lying down more. But the fact that I know that it's all standing, I like that, like I can mentally prepare. But then I was like, what's Tabata? So I actually Google searched Tabata. Basically, it's just high intensity interval training, AKA a HIT workout. So I don't really know if Tabata and HIT are the exact same thing. Maybe like they're like really similar, but what I think is that it's a less popular keyword. So she purposely chose to say Tabata instead of HIT. I don't know, that's kind of YouTube talk, yeah, algorithm analytics going on. But um, that's what I think. I guess it also doesn't matter because I am just here to review the workout. I am your minion to tell you what's good and what's not. I don't want to say kind of excited for this because um, <laughs> I'm excited for this because I realized that I like HIIT workouts. Who would know? 
you know, I don't think I would have liked it if it was more than 10 minutes. I think really that's my cutoff, but I did enjoy the last hit workout. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute. Ah. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I have a cat YouTube channel, which I talk way too much about, but it involves um, cat training tape, which is just like super, super sticky tape. And I put it on these mats. I didn't have the heart to remove the tape from the mats because I felt like that was wasteful. Like, what if I wanted to reuse the sticky tape? I can just show it to you. But um, basically, you're tilted because the ring light stand is stuck to it. Here it is. There it is. It's so sticky. Why are you angled, though? You're no longer on the sticky tape. Oh, my God. What can I say? I bring quality content. <laughs> cool and chill right now but I took several minutes to calm down overall the whole workout was very doable usually these gurus they film like in a warehouse or just in a very barren empty simple room and it was very easy to tell we were in her apartment and it wasn't messy it was pretty but you definitely saw furniture in the background like it definitely had a more clutter visual but oddly enough, I kind of liked it. I don't know why, because that's, I feel like, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know her. That was my first video. It's not like we have an emotional connection, but I just felt like I vibed with her because of that. Question for you guys. When you follow a fitness guru, do you prefer a more realistic, intimate setting? Or do you like it very white and simple? I guess it depends on like how you concentrate but some people get really annoyed by certain things. I liked how Emmy Wong kept it simple. You know, you were doing 20 seconds of workout, 10 second rest, and they would just continue to go 20, 10, 20, 10. Like you then could not have to worry about anything and you would just spend your time focusing on you and your breathing and your technique. It felt like the arm exercises were a little weak I appreciate her trying to incorporate them. Jumping into it for the first time, I felt like it was a little choppy, but then I got used to it real quick. It kind of made it feel much more homemade, which I thought like at first, I was like, oh my God, I'm confused. I don't like this. I ended up thinking it was so cute. I am coming at you with the full body workout by Kaboko Fitness. I've never tried out any of her workouts before. And people were also saying that she is incredibly happy during the workout, which now I'm kind of thinking, what sick, twisted person are you? <laughs> I'm down. I don't know, I feel pretty good today. Wait, also, story time. So before this, I went for a walk and I had, wait, let me get it. This oversized, this oversized quarter zip. That's it, yeah. And it's, it's a boy's quarter zip. I don't know why I purchased a boy's. I just felt like the oversized look was cute. But let me show you what it looks like on. So I was going for a walk and at first, you know, my mom saw my outfit and she was like, oh, so cute. But then with this on, look at this. <laughs> so just the lace sticks out like a little peep show or something. And my mom then like took, took a look at me in the middle of the walk and was like, it literally looks like you have lacy underwear on. And I was like, okay, first off, these are lacy bloomers <laughs> like is the length of them they're biker shorts but like don't they look like lacy bloomers and then this truck drives by and he's literally has his whole head turned looking down at my bloomers it was like driving like this and my mom was so embarrassed when i'm thinking that's not my fault also if you keep up with in general all of my stories I talk about how I still live in the same neighborhood as my arch nemesis. And she, I saw her walking with her boyfriend and I was thinking, damn, that boy be looking at my lace bloomers. But probably she was all like, look at that slut. <laughs> I don't really know. I tried to listen in because I'm nosy like that. And there was some echo, you know, in the streets, they carry voices. 
I was listening and I didn't hear anything. And so they probably weren't even talking about me, but I know they saw me and they liked the lace. So now we can get started. <laughs> guys think that I'm just filming this all in one day back to back because we still have the gray shirt and now we have the blue jacket. I literally laughed out loud with her voiceover because she's not just like generally hyping you up like you got this keep going. She literally compliments you <laughs> as if she can see you and I just like what <laughs> I was like laughing out loud which did make it go by super fast and it wasn't so much like an overall intense workout but she just had some intense exercises like ice climbers and burpees also motivating to watch because she is so fit that she can do all of those exercises really fast but like there's no pressure involved because in her voiceover, she's also giving you technique tips, but also helpful ways to transition into her workouts if you are a beginner. This was also filmed in her home, which I realized that I like. It was less furniture and better lighting, which I think was a good decision for her part because outside of YouTube, she also is a personal trainer. So this is just, this is bigger than her YouTube brand. Like this is her full, brand. I know sometimes I even amaze myself with how big my vocabulary is. I'm just so credible with my reviews. I've been editing this video along the way and it's getting kind of long. Like I don't mind. Like it's been a pleasure complaining to you, but there's got to be a point where I have to let you go, let you live your life, or basically click to the next YouTube video and stay forever on your couch. So we're gonna do one more full body workout and then that is it. Another new YouTuber. So we're doing the 10 men full body blast and tone workout by Get Fit by Ivana. Now I'm gonna be extremely harsh in this review and it's nothing against Ivana, but she did declare in the title that this 10 minute, only 10 minute full body workout is going to include your ab, core, arm, back, leg, thigh, and cardio. And that is a lot in 10 minutes. So if she's gonna declare that, she's gonna put that right in the title. I demand <laughs> that it includes everything. So, um, <clears throat> Sorry. I don't feel 100% last night I was like oh yes like I'm so ready for this tonight I am not but it's only 10 minutes I can get through this <laughs> David ew <laughs> ew David <laughs> water. It was not a terrible video or workout, but did it belong on the first page of a YouTube search? No. I had to endure three ad breaks for one 10 minute workout. And I don't care if they're skippable. They throw off my flow. She does not care about my flow. To be honest, it feels like a cash grab rather than her respecting my time and my workout. She almost had it right and had a progress tracker on screen, but that was for each workout instead of the entire video. I do have to give Ivana credit though, because that was a full body workout. I felt it, it was intense. I liked it. I did. I liked it. The one thing that I would change, and that's just personal preference, but I hate doing an entire routine and then realizing I have to do that entire routine again. Are you one of those people like, do you, are you okay with doing round one and then round two? Are you only okay with it if you're told ahead of time there'll be a round one or round two? I don't know. To me, maybe I was just too thrown off and that's what I hated about it. I have already ranked all five of these full body workouts. I did them off camera because I figured it was mean to have you watch me think about this. Before we get into my ranking of the full body workouts, 
I do want to take the time to say that this is nothing personal against the individual person and their channel. Starting with number five and technically last place, Get Fit by Ivana. And I feel like that's no surprise there based on my critique. In fourth place, Emmy Wong. And I was honest, like I really did like doing her workout, but I just felt like then when I had to compare it to the other videos, it just wasn't there with quality. In third place, Pamela Reef. And it's kind of disappointing because I have nothing bad to say about the workout. I guess it's just that I easily forgot the workout. In second place, Kaboko Fitness, which I think is no surprise because her creativity and her energy made a lasting impression on me. And she is somebody that I won't forget for when I do my future workout challenge videos. And in first place, congratulations, MadFit. And honestly, just across the board, she wowed me with her video quality, the workout routine itself, her entire presentation, and the way she really took you along on the workout and spoke to you and put things on screen. It just had the best flow. Congrats again, MadFit, but if you guys agree or disagree with my ranking, I would love to know in the comments. And again, like this video, subscribe if you want to join the fam bam, and I will see you in the next video. So I love you. I mean it. Bye guys.